Julio and I'm Goofy. <laughs> well, you know what that song means. It means it's time to go on another adventure with Goofy and me. Come on along. We'll have fun. We'll meet new faces. We'll do things. And we'll go places. Oh, boy, Mick. I can hardly wait to go. Okay, Goofy. It won't be long now. Come along and sing the song and join the jamboree. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Come on, everybody join in. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Have you ever been to the ocean? There's nothing but water as far as you can see. Sometimes it's fun to look out over the water and wonder what's out there. Gosh, Mick, anybody knows that. There's little fishies out there. <laughs> Goofy's right, of course, but there are other things too, like boats and islands and adventure. <laughs> yeah. Have a seat, and we'll tell you all about it. As we tell the story, you can read along with us in your book. You'll know it's time to turn the page whenever you hear the chimes ring, like this. Are you ready? Let's turn to the first page. Here we go. One summer, Goofy and I bought a fishing boat. It was just big enough for the two of us, plus one or two passengers. <laughs> yeah, we called our boat the Minnie, named in honor of our friend Minnie Mouse. We decided to rent it out to tourists. We figured we could make some extra money and meet interesting people too, but we had no idea how much hard work it would be. Gee, Mick, if I have to swab this deck one more time, I'll turn into a great big mop. I know how you feel, Goofy. I must have polished this nameplate a dozen times. At least we've got the cleanest boat in the harbor. Yeah, and the emptiest, too. No one's rented the Mini in days. I just can't understand it. Do you think it could be because of me? You, Goofy. Why would that be? Well, I did get that lady and her children all tangled up in the net last week. <laughs> you do have a way of getting into some naughty problems. Gosh, Mick, I'm sorry. Don't worry, old buddy. Our luck is bound to change. Brrr. Feel that wind, and look at those clouds. I think maybe a storm's coming. Yup, and that's not all. Huh? What do you mean? Look behind you, Mick. There's a man coming this way. Hey, maybe he's a customer. He can't be. What kind of monkey would want to go fishing on a day like this? No monkey, sir. Just a gibbon. Samuel Gibbon at your service. Oh, oh, how do you do, Mr. Gibbon? I'm Mickey Mouse, and this is my first mate, Goofy. Hello there. What brings you out on a day like this? Am I correct in assuming that you are the commander of this valiant vessel? Huh? Is he speaking English? You bet, Goofy. That's English English. All he said was that he thought I was the captain of the boat. <laughs> it sure didn't sound like that to me. Guess I must have got water in my ears. <laughs> For your information, my good man, I hail from England, far across the sea. I'm in America on business. What can we do for you, Mr. Gibbon? I'd like to hire your boat for a day. I feel like a bit of sport. In this weather? You're talking to an Englishman, my boy. A few tiny rain clouds couldn't scare me off. Tiny? Those look like thunderclouds to me. Of course, if you don't need my business. Uh, no, no, sir. Uh, Goofy, get the man a chair. The customer's always right on the mini. Fast off, Goofy. I'm 
so we headed out to sea. A few hours later, the clouds were darker and the wind was whipping around the boat. These waves are pretty rough, Mick. Yeah, but they aren't bothering Mr. Gibbon. He seems to be thinking about something else. <laughs> Gosh, did you notice that he didn't put any bait on that rod? How does he expect to catch any fish? I don't know, Goofy. And that's not the only odd thing about him. How come he didn't change his clothes? He doesn't look like any fisherman I've ever seen. Can you beat that? He's landed a big one and doesn't even seem to care. <laughs> yup, you might say something fishy is going on here. <laughs> Look, now he's pointing. At last, there it is. Blimey, hooray. You know, Mick, I don't think he means the fish. You're right, Goofy. Go find out what he's talking about. Aye, aye, sir. Gosh, Mick, the way this boat's rolling, it's hard to keep my footing. I don't think I'm going to make it. Holy cow! We must be in the heart of the storm. Don't panic, Goofy. Okay, Mick. I won't. You and Mr. Gibbon hold on to the mast. I'm wiring our position to the Coast Guard. If we're lucky, they'll get our message and come rescue us. I finished sending the message and went back to where Goofy and Mr. Gibbon were holding on to the mast. It looks like we're done for, Captain. <laughs> yeah, and besides that, we might get hurt. Just hang on, everybody. This mass floats. We'll make it. Here comes the big one. The waves washed us up on a sandy beach. Oh, where are we? And what are we going to do now? Don't worry, Goofy. I wired for help before we went down. Someone will find us. Gee, Mr. Gibbon, you almost look happy. Yes, this is a right good bit of luck, if ever I saw it. You call it lucky to be shipwrecked on a deserted island? Gosh, there could even be prehistoric monsters here. Oh, come on, Goofy. He just means that we're lucky to be alive. Is that right, Mr. G? Oh, why, yes, right you. That's just what I meant. Come on, everybody. Let's climb that peak and build a fire so the searchers can find us. But what if no one sees it, Nick? No problem. We'll just camp out for the night and try again in the morning. Oh, oh cheer up, Goofy. Things will get better. After all, tomorrow's another day. Yeah, but will we live that long? It's awful spooky being alone like this in the middle of nowhere. Oh. On the contrary, dear boy, this oh. isn't nowhere. Why, this might be the most desirable destination in the world. Oh, <laughs> is that some more of that English English? <laughs> Weeping catfish. What are all those noises? <laughs> oh, Goofy, those are just jungle sounds. Now go to sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. But the next morning, things didn't exactly work out the way I'd hoped. Blimey! Someone's been in our camp while we slept. This is a disaster. I knew it. There are cannibals on this island. Ah, oh, Goofy, that's ridiculous. And what are you so worried about, Mr. Gibbon? Something tells me you know more about this island than we do. What's going on here? Well, I guess I do owe you chaps an explanation. You see, I'm not just an ordinary tourist. I'm actually a professor, and I've been studying pirates for years. Pirates? Yikes! They're worse than cannibals! Hush, Goofy. Give him a chance to explain. 
In my studies, I learnt that over a hundred years ago, a pirate couple named Gold Gertie and Silver Sam had crashed on an island while carrying a huge treasure. Treasure? <laughs> Gosh, that's more like it. And now, after years of research, I'm sure that this is the island I've been looking for. The only problem is that someone else may be on the trail of the treasure. Do you think that's the someone who left these footprints? It may be. But if you two will help me find the treasure first, I'll give you each a fair share. What do you say, boys? Are you with me? Aye, aye, Professor. We sure weren't getting rich in the fishing business. <laughs> Just lead the way. I think we ought to be getting back to camp, Professor. A whole day of hacking through this jungle has really worn me out. Yeah, and it's got me all tied up in knots. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. We have a long night ahead. Why is it going to be a long night? We're not going to search in the dark, are we? <laughs> no, Goofy. But we are going to keep a lookout for intruders. But Professor Goofy and I hid behind some trees near camp. Sure enough, around midnight we spotted someone tiptoeing by. Look, Nick, it's an old woman. You don't think she's a cannibal, do you? Of course not. My name's Gold Gertie. But that's impossible. You'd have to be more than a hundred years old to be Gold Gertie. <laughs> no, not that Gold Gertie. I'm the great-great-granddaughter of Gold Gertie and Silver Sam. <laughs> Did you hear that, Professor? This is great. You're not planning to stay, are you? I'm very happy here all alone. We would leave, madam, if we had the treasure. If you helped us find it, Gertie, we'd share it with you. Oh, I'm not interested in treasure. What good did it do my grandparents? And what earthly good can it do me on this island? I'll take you to it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Gosh, I can hear those cash registers ringing already. <laughs> we set out bright and early. Gertie led us to the place where the treasure was buried. Before we knew it, she was marking the spot. No wonder we couldn't find it yesterday. We were looking on the wrong side of the island. The other side had trees and bushes and plants. I wonder why this side is so rocky and bare. Gosh, Mick, who cares about geology at a time like this? <laughs> Let's start digging. Gertie left and we got started. But suddenly, there was an ear-splitting noise. Whoa, no! It's a volcano! No wonder this side of the island is bare! We'll never get the treasure now! That lava will bury it forever! Yup, and if we don't get out of here fast, we're going to be buried with it! Run for your life! got out of there in time. Just after we left, tons of lava covered the spot where the treasure was hidden. Gosh, Professor, that was a close one. I guess you could say we're lucky to be alive. You're absolutely right. From now on, I believe I'll try fishing and leave the treasure hunting to someone else. <laughs> yeah, now I know what it means when they say your money or your life. Look, there's a boat. This may be our rescue ship. Wave your arms, everybody. Over here. Hey, hey. Look at here. Here, here. we are. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> Look, Mick, the captain's trying to shout something to us. Ahoy, you there on the roof. Hold on. We'll send the boat for you. A 
few minutes later, we were on the ship. It sure feels good to be at sea again, Captain. For a minute there, mate. I thought I saw someone else waving to us. Are you sure the three of you were the only people on that island? Ah, uh, yes, absolutely. We were the only people who needed your help. Hey, man. But what about Gold Girlie? I think this is the way she would have wanted it, Goofy. She's got the island all to herself again. Hey, Captain. I like your fishing gear. <laughs> Mind if I look at it? Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Now, let's see here. <laughs> Goofy, how did you do that? You caught your pants on the end of the line. <laughs> Gosh, I guess I did. <laughs> you know, Mick, it's kind of a shame that we're getting out of the fishing business. Why's that, Goofy? I was just beginning to get hooked on it. <laughs> Gosh, Mick, wouldn't it be great to have an island all to yourself, just like Gold Gertie? Oh, maybe so, but I think I'd get lonely. Shucks, I'll come to visit you. Oh, thanks, Goofy, but you won't have to do that. I'm staying right here. Did you hear that, everybody? Mickey's going to stay. Yippee! Yahoo! <laughs> and now, until next time. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See ya real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-U-S-E. So long. Bye-bye. See, See you next, next time. time.